contains the fire. So the temperature was greater than 1,200 degrees. They're going to deploy the blanket. You're going to see how they're going to spread that out. They've got it centered, and you want to always approach the car from the front or the back. At the same time, they're going to pull the corners and take it up and over that car, and then they will tuck the blanket underneath the car. Uh, that helps contain it, and that also, uh, in case of the wind, it'll keep that blanket intact on that vehicle. It takes two people to deploy it properly, and then you just let the blanket sit there and do its job of containing. Like any real life situation, you have to make some adjustments to make sure that it's on properly. When these are deployed, uh, the blankets, it's imperative that these blankets are centered. If you don't get them centered on the car, you're not going to have enough overlap, overhang to be able to tuck that blanket in underneath the car. Right. And that's, that's very important or it won't work like it's supposed to. So again, that's a training issue, you practice it. Had some wind out here today that probably caused a little bit of that, but they also had never done it. Let's also talk about some things that can happen to the environment. So let's say that uh, you're not deploying a blanket and you're going to use the traditional method of dousing it with water. What are some of the issues that you're going to run into with the lithium ion battery cars? Are you talking about just letting them burn out? Letting them burn out or trying to douse them with water? It's going to take a tremendous amount of water, probably up to around 10,000 gallons. So that, that's, that's a lot of water. That's why it, it does, you know, it's why it's retained and allows you to get your water source uh, so you can get the fire extinguished because you're not going to need as much water once you get that temperature down. And it's going to, it, as, when it contains it, it's going to reduce that temperature greatly from up to 2,500 degrees down to less than 500 probably two, three hundred degrees. And right. So then it's a lot more manageable to be able to uh, you know, tilt the car, get water underneath it so you can actually uh, get that fire out. So I mean, using as much water, letting it, letting it. A lot of people or a lot of departments are, are going with, let's just let it burn, especially like on the interstate. Well, that creates a lot of environmental problems. You're gonna have runoff, you're gonna have firefighters walking around that car inhaling uh, some of those contaminants. It's just not, it's really not a good plan to let them burn out. Again, when they pull this blanket, there might be a small amount of uh, visible flame. Uh, it's down to 96 degrees now. But that's to be expected. There may not be any, but you may, uh, we're getting air back to it. Oh, there's a lot. Just a little bit. That was from the contents. That wasn't even from the battery. What you saw, that little bit of flame, that was from the interior contents of the car. Free burning at 2,500 degrees is gonna take a tremendous amount of water and you've got run. Uh, we suggest that the blanket actually goes with the company that is going to be picking up the vehicle. And to keep that vehicle covered with the blanket, because there's always the possibility that the fire can reignite. Uh, it's not uncommon when you are dealing with uh, lithium ion batteries that it does uh, reignite at some point. They can reignite up to 30 days after That's you right. extinguish it the first time. 
That's why salvage yards don't really like these EV uh, vehicles at all. But if they have that blanket and then keep it wrapped up for that length of time, then the, they'll be okay. I probably can't pronounce what that blanket's made of, but you can see it did not burn through. It's, it's made of silica quartz. Oh, I can pronounce it. Yeah, you can pronounce it. <laughs> For transportation purposes, this blanket is very easy to keep on the back of a fire rig. Uh, it rolls up really nicely to uh, 28 inches by 12 by 10, and it's kept in a waterproof bag on the fire truck. For some of the issues that people would face during, let's say, hurricane season, um, that could possibly potentially happen if they have their car plugged in uh, in their house floods. Well, just the water getting in those batteries is going to cause them to start shorting out, and it's going to, and like I said, they do produce their own oxygen, so they will burn. And it's just to, the part of the house that's not underwater is going to burn up. So. Yeah. Not real experience with hurricanes. 